Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today we're playing some Neja. As we did get a comment for a request for it. And we're up against a Fenrir. I, I think this matchup's pretty good. Every time he brutalizes me, I can sash or alt him. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty nice. Uh, obviously, I need to get some beads for his ultimate and things like that. But uh, that could, could be pretty interesting. All right, let's start off with Bluestone into Jotuns. Right now, Neja, I think Neja is pretty fun in duel right now because all of his items are uh, pretty viable. You know, with Jotuns, Crusher, all those red items pretty much being buffed. Gives him some good damage. I could even go crit this game. Um, now I'm going to start with my 1, 2, and then if we start fighting before minions, I'll level up my 3. If not, I'll level up my 1 again. But we'll see. Actually, it might be worth to level 3 no matter what, just to cancel his Brood Lies. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to get to the minis at the red buff. But yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying the series with my brother. Uh, we've been recording a lot of videos together. It's been really fun. And we're going to keep doing that, hopefully. Oh, damn it. Tried getting the juicy crit there. But, uh oh. Well, that works. <laughs> that works. Forgot that his leap would be up so soon. Also, he has a uh, warrior's axe, which uh, gave him a huge heal and quite a bit of damage. Should have paid attention to that, but oh well. I'm going to go take this blue buff. Not the best start. He also has tier 1 transcendence, so maybe he's going for a power build. I sometimes go uh, transcends on Neja. But it really depends. And now I took that Fenrir. Damn, I'm already low just from the minions and stuff. He, I think he went for his blue buff. Oh, no, you did not. I'm dead. I'm dead. Thought he went for his blue buff, then I heard him at the minis, and it was kind of too late. Well, I'm already 0-2, and uh, this is a terrible start. I'm buying a chalice instead of my tier 2 item because I need sustain because I'm already falling so far behind. At least I have my ult now. Luckily, dying in the early game doesn't even matter that much in duel because, I don't know. Respawn timers are pretty short. They don't get too much XP and gold. Um, I usually kind of lose hope if I die this much in the early game and I'm against a god that's better than me late game, but I think for, uh, late game, it's about the same, honestly. Oh my god, he does so much damage. I'm dead again. Try to bait his leap. Okay, cool. He's probably going to brutalize me if he's close enough. Alright, we're good. Very dangerous. I don't really have much against his, against his leap. Like, it's kind of nice to have a leap against Fenrir leap, so you can just leap when he leaps. But I, I don't have anything. My sash is completely useless against that. Alright, let's place a ward over here. I think these minis should be coming up pretty soon again. Oh, there's still one over here. That's fine. Maxing our ring toss as it lowers protections. And gives me a little bit more damage in for everything else. Plus, it's kind of my clear right now. kind of bad because I have to use my my bees every time he ults otherwise I'll die normally I don't have to if I'm but since I'm behind don't really have a choice um, I can get my Jotuns now which is good for cooldown and just damage in general 
probably gonna go breastplate of valor just to get max cooldown right away and i'll probably start spamming my ultimate once i get full cooldown um for dying twice i mean we're behind but we're not that far behind i'm like a, a little bit more than a level behind we're falling more behind because he, again he's getting red buff plus his blue buff which is more xp and gold so it's, it's become a problem but it's not too much i can do about that Oh my god, what? I'm so dead. I'm not dead. Okay, what the hell? I'm, I'm not playing this well. Oh, my cat wants to join me. Hello, Copper. I don't know if he picked up on the mic. He is meowing a lot. Uh, there's not much I could do that if he pre-beads that. Because if he pre-beads, then I can't stun him out of the Brutalize. I, I did stun him out of Brutalize just barely, but I, I was already pretty much dead. Ah. That's so frustrating. I'm 0-3 now. Let's see if I can come back from throwing the game. Literally throwing the game. Throwing early game. Oh my goodness. This is so bad. All right, he's going, what is he going? Uh, I don't think that's gonna be a shifter, or is that only what it can build into? That's not the right item. Could be going into a Berserkers. Most likely Berserkers, I think. Which means he's going auto attack late game, which is super annoying, because that is good for Fenrir. I just feel like I can't do anything right now. He does so much more damage to me with his auto attacks and abilities. And just his stun is, is powerful. I tried ulting just to get the CC immunity. Had my beats, but didn't need the beats there. Just because we're already near our tower. All right, gain some damage. <sighs> I usually don't ult unless I know it's going to kill, but... Oh, you cannot brutalize through that wall. Was he trying to brutalize through that wall? Yeah. Yeah, I usually save my ult to guarantee the kill because otherwise they run away. Um, there he actually could have gotten away if he went by his blue buff. But uh, I guess he thought uh, brutalize could go through that middle wall. And no, that middle wall is too thick. That's good. Just like that, I'm only 200 gold behind now. Again, a terrible early game by me. I take full responsibility for that early game. But, you know, we didn't panic. Got a kill back, and now we're back in this game. It's pretty much even now. If anything, I prefer my position now, because now I have red buff cooldown, uh, my blue buff cooldown. And, uh... I don't know. I, I, just, I just... I like where I'm at now. He's canceling his Brutalize right away. He doesn't need to. Oh, that's so awesome. Good kill. A... The comeback. Alright. I do quite a bit of damage to this tower. If I commit, I can kill it. I don't know if I will. Probably not. I can get a tower later. It's not super worth to just commit for that and possibly die. Now, I will need to start warding for Demon King because Fenrir can take Demon King pretty, pretty fast with his two. All right, I'm also going to build into a Brawler's Beat Stick. Save our second Relic because we need to wait to see what Relic he gets. And if he gets Horrific, I need Sprint. Otherwise, I could get Sunder or something like that. I don't know. Uh, I'm tempted to go a little bit of crit. 
Um, it's kind of nice against melee characters because I am auto attacking Fenrir. Nice. Oh my god, my alt was barely down. I pressed four twice and it went off the second time. There we go. <laughs> that was so funny. My ult was barely coming up cooldown. The first time I pressed it, I was lined up perfectly. Then I started spamming it. Because I was like, why is my ult not going off? And I moved my mouse a little bit. And just whiffed completely. Now, Nesha can take a Demon King. Uh, but it, I, I don't think I should go for it right now. I think that would be a little bit too dangerous. And you get a few more items. Because I don't take it, like, instantly. Alright, I'm going crit. Gonna go Deathbringer. I think it's a little too late to go Rage. He's still saving his relic, so I will still save my relic. Get that other ward. And now we're ahead. Again, if I went 0-3 against a god that I think would beat me late game, then it would be an entirely different story. But since that was not the case, we're okay. Actually, he lost a lot of HP to that, which kind of sucks. I don't know why he keeps doing that. Okay, well, I'm going to take a huge amount of damage here. There we go. That was actually bad for me, but then I was able to ring toss between him and the red buff, and uh, <laughs> I just started attacking the red buff because like, I already aggroed it. Might as well try to take it, and that baited his jump, and then once his jump was down, it was like, oh, this is perfect. Man, this is such a weird game. Really weird game I'm playing right now. Lots of weird fights. That's for sure. All right, I'm recalling now. Um, let's let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go Deathbringer. All right, I. Okay, he was just chilling over there. He's not actually going for Demon King. Good to have those wards. Good to know if he's actually going for it or not, because you know if you don't have wards, you have to take time to go over to Demon King, and that generally wastes time and time that you could be spending farming if you know that he's not actually going for it. Like now he's going for minis. So I might as well come over here. He might try to leap me again. There it is. I think I should ult him, but I need to get him a little bit lower health. Oh. I mean, hey, that works for me. All right, I think we should go for Demon King here. Um, our minions are in the middle of the map, which means if we push minion wave, we could probably get a decent amount of Phoenix. But... I don't think I'd be able to get full Phoenix before he respawns. Just because a lot of my melee minions would die. And, I mean, why why do that when I go for Demon King and just get the whole thing? Alright, we're gonna... I mean, no use buying another ward. Demon King's down. We're just gonna keep going. I can't afford Deathbringer right now. Um, actually, I maybe didn't even need to back. Because I had quite a bit of health. And I'm regening health and mana with uh, my Demon King buff. So, kind of... You know, weird of me. Also, I keep forgetting that on this map, it's Bull Demon King. On the other map, it's only Demon King. Yo, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm getting a call from my brother, the Neja Master. Andrew. Wait, can you hear me? Oh, never mind. Ah, I was going to get him into the video. <laughs> I was going to ask him for advice. But now he's uh, now he's hanging up on me. Ow. I can heal once I hit the ground or just sash him. Just sash him safer. Hey. 
Nice stuff. Okay, I still have a decent amount of time on this. And plus I have minions. This is definitely going down. Awesome. Um, I can get a little bit of damage on Demon King here. I don't want to stay too long. I'll probably wait until he respawns to get the ring bounce. And then I'll back up. Awesome. Ring bounce does so much damage between two characters. Also, he's got Berserkers, Hydras, and now I'm guessing he's going Jotuns. Maybe Brawlers. Oh, now he's calling me again. Hold on. Yo. Yo, I'm playing a Neja game for YouTube. You want to coach me? Oh, yeah. Uh, sure, man. All right, all right. Here, I'm sharing my screen. What, I, what item do I go next? Crusher? Or Serrated? Um, Crusher would be dope. All right. This, this Fenrir killed me three times in a row at the beginning of the game, and then I came back. Nice. I, was, I got his Phoenix. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. He just blew up. That might be game, honestly. Yeah, you have a wave. That's over. That's over. Let's go. Insta win once he accepted the call. How many stars do you have on Neja nowadays? Like 22, 23. 23 stars? That's a lot. Alright. GG's. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, here's the final builds. And let me know if you want me to play any other gods. Again, Neja was uh, suggested by someone in the comments. So I, I do try to take those. I, I can't take them all, but I, I try to take some of them. Um, I'm going to show the player stats, and then uh, that, will be, that will be it. Let's see. Still in platinum because uh, I'm Mars so bad, but I'm recovering. Uh, but here it is. All right, thanks for watching, everybody, and you all have a good day. Bye.